Hi, this is Jason from PointsAndFocus.com. This is the companion video for my article about creating graphic watermarks in Lightroom 4. Before I dive into Lightroom, here are a couple tips I've found for making good watermark images. Bigger files will scale down, but small ones won't scale up. In this case, bigger is better. Just don't go overboard. My watermark images are about 1000 by 500 pixels. To maximize visibility, regardless of the underlying image, outline everything with a contrasting color using a stroke, glow, or drop shadow. My watermarks tend to use white text, so I outline them with a black drop shadow or glow. Finally, make sure your image has a transparent background and you save your image as a 24-bit PNG with transparency. Not only will it blend properly, but you can also use various levels of transparency in your watermark. Now to create a watermark preset in Lightroom. In Lightroom, open the watermark editor by selecting Edit Watermarks from the Edit menu. When the window opens, it will default to a text watermark that says Copyright in the lower left corner of the image. The first thing to do is change the watermark type to Graphic. To do this, select the Graphic option from the Watermark style in the top right corner of the window. When you do that, Lightroom will automatically display your computer's file open dialog. Navigate to the image file you created for your watermark, select it, and click Open. The open dialog will disappear, and Lightroom will have replaced the word copyright with your image in the preview. To adjust the size, opacity, offset from the screen edge, and where the watermark is located in the image, adjust the setting under Watermark Effects on the right side of the Watermark Editor. For most images, I use a relatively small watermark in the lower right corner. I set the size to proportional and to about 12 to 15 percent, and select the lower right anchor point in the anchor section. When you're happy with the way the watermark appears, it's time to save it as a preset. There are two ways to do this. The easiest way is to simply click the Save button in the lower right corner of the watermark editor. However, if you're updating an existing watermark, or the Save button isn't available for some reason, you can update, save, and delete watermark presets by using the drop-down in the top left corner of the watermark editor. In either case, Lightroom will ask you for a name for your preset. Name your watermark preset and click Create. Now you can close the watermark editor and apply your watermark when exporting by selecting it from the watermark section of the export dialog. If you found this video useful, subscribe, visit our website at pointsandfocus.com, or follow us on Twitter at PointsandFocus. Thank you.